a real quick video on how to set up um, Vuforia to use cloud recognition, or rather use any photo other than the sample photos. First thing you want to do is get Vuforia. Obviously you can just do that through here. And uh, you just gotta, here would be an install button, install it as normal, as a normal package would be. Um, then you'll want to go to window and Euphoria configuration right here, and through this. Um, if it has an error up here, you may have to go to help Euphoria engine show developer agreement, and when you click on that it'll ask you to accept it, and then you'll be good to go, and come back to the Euphoria configuration. To add this thing, which I have already added, but you'll need to add, you'll have to jump over to the Vuforia developers portal. Um, uh, create a development key, or create a license key, then you just gotta click on it, and it will come up with this. Click on that, and it'll copy it to the clipboard, and you will be able to paste it into here, and then you're good. The next thing is to delete the main camera. You won't be needing that. And then you can go ahead and start doing these things. So you'll need an AR camera. You'll need a, uh, under the Vuforia engine type is AR camera. Uh, you will need a, under cloud recognition, a cloud recognition um, item. And then, under cloud recognition, you'll need a cloud image target. Uh, you can then place, uh, drag your cloud, your image target on, uh, on top of your AR camera, and that will place it as a child, which you'll need to do. Um, then, go to your cloud recognition. This has this which will need an access key and a secret key, which you'll normally want to keep secret, but these particular ones that I'll be using have been uh, used before, so on other places that have been recorded, so I'm fine with letting them be visible. So uh, go back to your license manager right here, click on target manager. Uh, you'll have to add a database if you haven't yet and create a name for it and then go into it. And then you'll have right here the database access keys. Copy these, so copy the access key into the access key, copy the secret key into the secret key, secret key into the secret key, and then you'll be good. Then you'll need some targets. I've already uploaded it to save time, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to do add target and then just upload a file. The width can be whatever you want. Uh, put it something like 10 or 5. I've put minus 10. Um, it should be relatively small just because these are the scene units, which in Unity are technically meters, although the camera is large, so it doesn't really matter. After that, you'll be prompted to give it a name, and then you'll add it. It'll say processing under status for a little while, and then we'll uh, do something like this. If it has a low star rating, this may not work, um, and you can see why it has a low star rating in various parts of the Vuforia um, things, but mostly it'll be because it couldn't recognize enough features in order to accurately um, detect it every time. So in this case, I'll be using the Mothership character sheet, which I'll link a download to um, from the game, from the TTRPG game Mothership. Uh, and it's black and white and has a bunch of square images and stuff like that, which makes it super easy to for um, the target manager to grab uh, unique spots on. 
So, once you've done that, you want to go back to Unity. Now that you've uploaded that and put this access key and secret key in, now you'll need to do what is sort of the most complicated part, although not really because you only need to do one thing, and it's use this code, which I have here. Um, I'll upload a link to all of this code wherever I put this video, so uh, maybe look in the description or around wherever you found it. Um, and basically, this code allows you to use the uh, database. You can mess around with this code a little bit, but to start with, I'd say just use this code. Then, what you'll need to do is to, um, to drag that code, once you've created it, onto your cloud recognition object. Then once you've done that, you'll be able to see that it has this part added to the cloud recognition uh, object. And uh, you'll need to drag something into the image target template. What you want to drag in is this image target right here. Drag it in, drop it, and you've got it good to start. All you've got to do now is do something like Create, let's say, a cube as the child. If you right click on it, if you right click while it's like this, you can create it as the child immediately. Otherwise, just take the cube and draw it, drag it on top of it. Maybe resize it a bit, but um, it's good to leave it much larger than what this says it is, uh, what the image target shows it as, because the image target is quite small compared to the actual image. Then you just gotta click play. And hopefully it'll work. There we go. And you can see it's got a few things created on the screen thanks to the um, code, which is scanning and metadata. Metadata won't show anything unless you've updated metadata with the image. Scanning will just show that it's scanning until you bring up the image and it grabs it. And then it will say that it's not scanning. And you can see that the, Im that the um, box that I placed there is being displayed on top of this image. And um, the restart scanning is not necessary. See if I take away the image and then put the image back, it will re-recognize it. Uh, I haven't done much testing with it, but I believe the restart scanning is to change the image if you are using if you have multiple images inside the database. So there we go. Um, a problem that I had with it, which you might um, to solve, is that the uh, camera wasn't recognized, which is what I thought was happening when the black showed up. Um, if you want to fix that, just go to the Euphoria configuration. Uh, go to down to here where it says camera device, and you can change it to whatever your webcam is. For instance, I'm using a pretty shoddily built um, um, Android phone attached to a screen as my camera, <laughs> so that's why it's droid hand sized. But whatever it is, usually it'll pick it up. In my case, it didn't. Your case, it might not. That's how you fix it. Anyway, cool. That's how you do that. If you have any questions, ask me. At me on Discord.